This is PSPY simulation tutorial series. In this video, we will create a pressure sensor circuit and run Monte Carlo analysis on it. In the next section of this video, we'll discuss the simulation results. So let's get started. In the first step of this tutorial, we are going to create a new project. To do that, we'll open ORCID capture using Cadence program menu. Select the license and click on OK button. Once the ORCID capture is ready, we are going to create a new project. For that, go to File, New, click over Project. Here we are going to name it Monte Carlo. And next you can select the location where you wanted to save the file. In our case, we wanted to save it on desktop. And select the folder, click on OK button. Before clicking on OK button, make sure you have enabled the PSPY simulation. Next we are going to select either we want to create a PSPY project based on existing project or create a blank project template. Click over create blank project and OK. Then we'll go to place components and here we are going to place one DC source. So select the DC source, right click and click over place button. Then we are going to select resistors. Here we'll select general purpose resistor, right click and place. Then we are going to select R break. and parameters. Let's place it here, right click and mode. In the next step, I'm going to create the circuit and then we will create or add some new parameters. So till now we have created this schematic. In the next step, we are going to create new parameters. To do that, we'll double click over parameters and here we'll create few new properties. First will be P normal and its default value will be 1 or 1 1.0. Click over apply. Another parameter will be P, its value will be 0, apply. And another parameter will be P coefficient and its value will be minus 0 0.06. Apply and cancel. Next we are going to make all these parameters visible. To do that, we'll select the parameters, right click, display, and make it name and value visible and click on OK button. Then we'll save this property editor and close the window. So as you can see, all the parameters are visible now. And here one thing you have observed that I have added a zero volt DC or VDC supply in series of R5. So the purpose of adding is so when we add a zero volt voltage source, it's commonly used as a current meter in PSPIs. All right. So that's why I've added this zero volt voltage source. In the next step, we are going to add a expression instead of 1K for R3. To do that, we'll double click on this value. We'll put it on curly brackets. It will be 1K multiplied by small brackets, one plus P plus P coefficient divided by P nominal and click over OK. So this will be the expression that we are going to use in this thermostat. In the next step, we are just going to save this project. After that, we are going to edit the SPICE model of these four registers, R1, R2, R3 and R4. So first start with R1, we'll select the components, right click and we'll click over edit PSPICE model and PSPICE model editor window will open. So here we are going to replace couple of things. Let's remove R break and make it R Monte 1, RES, value will be 1K, then deviation will be 2% and tolerance will be 10%. Then we'll save the model and close this window. And similarly, we are going to edit the properties of R2, R3 and R4. So we are going to change the implementation property. So we'll double click over R2 first. We'll go to the implementation property which is here and we are going to replace it with R Monte. Save the property editor and close it. Similarly, we'll do it for R3 and R4. So the purpose of changing the implementation parameter is, so if you remember, we have added couple of properties or changed the PSPICE model for R1. And here, if we'll use the same implementation name, then those property will be added to R2, R3 and R4. 
So to verify that, we'll just select the components and go to edit pSpice model. And here we can clearly see all the parameters that we have updated for R1 are updated for R2, R3 and R4 as well. In the next step, we are going to setting up the analysis. To do that, we'll click over new simulation profile. We are going to name it Monte Carlo and click over create button. Here, make sure you have selected the analysis type to DC sweep. And our sweep variable will be a global parameter, which is P. We are going to add values 0 to 5 with the increment of 0.1. Make sure you have selected the sweep type linear. In the next step, we are going to enable the Monte Carlo analysis from the options tab. Here our output variable will be I meter. Number of runs will be 10. Make sure you have selected the distribution to uniform. And number of random number seed, let's select 17,503, which should be less than this value. Make sure to select the save data from to all and click on apply and OK. And then in the next step, we are going to run the simulation. To do that, we'll click over run piece by simulation button. Here it will ask you want to run for all the 10 iterations. We'll select all and click over OK button. Here we go. The simulation is done and there is no error as of now. Then we are going to add some trays. So let's click over add trays and we are going to add I meter, click on OK button. So as you can see, we have different values at different Monte Carlo run for I meter. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.